Alice looked all around her at the flowers and blades of grass. There was a large mushroom growing near her, about the same height as herself. She stretched herself on tiptoe and peeped over the edge of the mushroom, and her eyes immediately met those of a large blue caterpillar, quietly smoking a long poker. The caterpillar addressed her in a languid, sleepy voice. Who are you? Alice replied rather shyly. I... I hardly know, sir. I can't remember things as I used to. And I don't keep the same size for ten minutes. What size do you want to be? Well, I should like to be a little larger, sir, said Alice. Three inches is such a wretched height to be. It is a very good height indeed, said the caterpillar, rearing itself upright as it spoke. It was exactly three inches high. The caterpillar got down off the mushroom and crawled away, remarking as it went, One side will make you grow taller, and the other side will make you grow shorter. Alice remained looking thoughtfully at the mushroom, trying to make out which were the two sides. As it was perfectly round, she found this a very difficult question. She stretched her arms around it and broke off a bit of the edge with each hand. And now which is which? she said and nibbled a little of the right hand bit. The next moment she felt a blow underneath her chin. It had struck her foot. Her chin was pressed so closely against her foot there was hardly room to open her mouth. But she did it at last and managed to swallow a morsel of the left hand bit. But she did it at last. My head's free at last, said Alice, in a tone of delight which changed into a laugh. All she could see when she looked down was an immense length of neck that seemed to rise like a stalk out of the sea of green leaves that lay far below. As there seemed to be no chance of getting her hands into her head, she tried to get her head down to them and was delighted to find that her neck would bend about easily in any direction. A sharp hiss made her draw back in a hurry. A large pigeon had flown into her face. Serpent! screamed the pigeon. I'm not a serpent, said Alice indignantly. Let me alone. Well, be off then, said the pigeon in a silky tone as it settled down into its nest. Alice crouched down among the trees as well as she could. She remembered that she still held the pieces of mushroom and sat carefully nibbling first at one and then the other until she had succeeded in bringing herself down to her usual house. She so long since she had been heading to the right side that it was much better. And then the other, until she succeeded in bringing herself down to her usual It was so long since she had anything near the right size that it felt quite strange.